Do you already know which ones you're going to close, or are you still thinking about it? No, we're still going through the process. Uh, one of the things we learned from the last time we closed prisons where, where we just targeted two. Um, we base it on many of the same factors. What's very different about this time is involving uh, Department of Community and Economic Development and Labor and Industry to, to quantify the impact on the community, right? So one could argue that if you pull a 50 or $60 million business out of any community in Pennsylvania, it's going to have an impact. <coughs> um, so really, I think um, what we're anticipating is, is, is there a disparate impact mm -hmm. in any area versus another? Um, but that's, so that's the new part of the process. Well, certainly we know there's going to be an impact. Uh, we also know that the, the prospect of, of uh, getting rid of an old prison uh, is not it's very rare where it's prime uh, real estate and people are lining up to buy it, right? Um, and so trying to uh, at least factor in or at least uh, look at barriers to, to reuse uh, and those kinds of things, uh, we learned from that. This one's slightly different in that um, one of the other things we announced um, was that we're going to attempt to lease beds to the feds. Um, Certainly, our, our president-elect has talked about increasing the amount of um, deportations, specifically around people who've come into the country illegally and who have committed crimes. And if that's like a first 100-day deal, they're going to need quick capacity.